So continuing my um, sort of illustrations that I want to get sketched down, I've got an idea for um, an extreme close up of a zombie's head. And I just want to be sketchy with this. Maybe he's uh, in the background is maybe stuff on fire. Uh, there's loads of uh, apocalypse stuff going on. I think. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so I want to focus on this like zombie head. Let me get it looking quite enraged, looking zombie. nose is really bunched up um, so I'll try and get it looking quite effective some eyebrows there I think the best way to create a lot of illustrations and a lot of work is just to get on with it and not think about it too much. So that's what I'm doing the next couple of weeks with these uh, illustrations and drawings and things. So give him some front teeth and maybe he's got one missing zombie style and he's got a torn uh, lip there lots of blood get the mouth there open wide like he's gonna bite someone got all damaged mouth at the bottom there mm -hmm. lots of blood spraying off and dripping just to suggest that he's uh, lunging forward and all the blood's just going to the side the tongue in there lots of other cool details, I like adding loads of details be more blood. Easy is slightly torn there as well. Bit of hair. This is running there. So that's a quite a good um, sort of dynamic where the, the head's like on a slant so he is like running or walking <laughs> don't want to have like running zombies not like uh, the zom uh, what is it Dawn of the Dead remake there's I don't know running zombies yeah <laughs> don't 
really make sense to be honest but oh well it made for an interesting remake I suppose but I prefer the zombies that just walk a bit clumsy you know at least you have a chance to avoid them but I can understand why they did um, running zombies in that film just to update it and make it more threatening but nah didn't work <laughs> So, try and draw the other shoulder there. And I could have drawn a hand or something, or maybe a section of a hand, but I don't think I'll bother. Draw the other collar bit to that shirt, and that shoulder bit would go a bit further back probably under that collar so works out yeah near enough extra spittle and horror stuff we try and draw the eyes looking ahead his head no little cuts Not too many though Some bits of blood I think that's ready to wink uh, probably think of something to um, go in the background can just leave it maybe as fires but then I could do actually mm, yeah why not the focus is on the zombie anyway so I'm going to start to ink that and yeah it should look pretty cool so I'll quickly ink the outline of this like I do on most of my drawings um, working for a pretty quick um, sort of drawing that I can uh, develop later on and add more detail to and eventually colour but it's good um, to try and do these quick ideas and see how they work out and for now I've done like three of these drawings well nearly three once I finish um, a good portion of this ink in but um, they've worked out pretty good um, just quick ideas just get on with things uh, draw what I know and hope for the best that's pretty much it really draw the main lines outlining with this thicker pen and then some thinner lines as I go on with the drawing and watch them little blood spittle drips shape of the head drawn. Let's draw these eyebrows. I think I'll ink the tongue in there. Add some dark little bits in there. Maybe some thicker lines. Uh. 
Then we'll go for a thinner ink pen. We'll go with the O5 again. Trusty Pigma Micron pen. Start to add a lot of thin lines that's needed on this drawing, particularly the teeth. The zombie teeth. Missing tooth there and that gap. is like a big rip in the upper lip as well so I'll just sketch that in there on the head. It's always worth doing. trying to draw in everything real quick and then I can clean up everything later on and really work on making these good illustrations or at least the best that I can fine to me this one out of the blood um, spots and drips here and there Have the uh, sinew and bits of muscle suggestion in the neck are just little fires random little fires I could add more to you know detail to that and things like that maybe this is more of a smoky kind of fire Strands of hair. <laughs> so, yeah, there's 
there's maybe a bit more smoke going that way. Possibly. Yeah. So it's going good, this drawing. I just have to wink the eyes. Just the eyes to do. Um, I might not actually make that like a black eye pupil. Um, I might make that a bit hollower. And then have a few um, veins on, that, on the eyeball. Just coming off there just to make it look a bit sort of like infected and that. And when it comes to the colouring stage I can maybe grey that um, pupil of the eye just to make it look like it's uh, zombified or something. <laughs> I don't know. We'll just see. So I like doing this. I like doing these drawings. Little suggestions of blood dripping off uh, Oh, them little cuts there. And I'll leave it as that for now. So that's another one, um, sort of pre-sketched. Um, I need to colour, add more detail to it and actually finish it. But it's as an illustration, it's um, standalone. It's uh, just focuses on the zombie and is good enough so I'm going to put that aside and put it in the pile to work on more and the ever growing pile I should say of all the illustrations that I've done but the more I draw the more I'm going to just get on with more work more art prints to sell and you know work to put on things and yeah just get myself out there because I need to be doing this so Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.